she said that the girl is possessed that the girl almost killed her not not her not my sister because that the girl the girl almost killed herself i said how do you mean she said that the girl confessed that the girl confessed that she belongs somewhere so I started asking her how did she confess, what happened, what led to her confession. Amanda, baby. Amanda, Amanda, baby. Hey, beautiful ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to be doing Odara Monk Bank or Monk Bank, whatever. <laughs> We are going to be doing monk bank or dara monk bank or pregnancy craving, whichever one. Yes, that is what we are going to be doing today. Odara monk bank pregnancy cravings. You guys know that I love Odara so much. So today I just decided to do the um, monk bank with Odara. <laughs> Let's see how it works. I've already taken a lot this morning, but... Anyhow, anyhow, anyways, let's start. If you are new to this channel, you are highly welcome. You are highly welcome. Welcome. Don't forget to click on that red subscribe button that says subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your bell notification button. So, guys, let us dive into the Odara Monk Bank pregnancy cravings. <laughs> ah. So guys, now we are going to start. I don't know how this my camera is. Though. It looks I'm so small sitting on the floor. Are you guys seeing me? <laughs> I'm so small here. I'm so hidden. Anyways, mm, let us do it like that. So. This is the one of... This is the chewing gum that I made out from Odara, the one I took in the morning. Let me keep it one side because I'm still going to make use of it. So now let us start. You see how smooth this is? You see how smooth it is? Very, very smooth. Oh, this is how to open your Odara, local Odara. Ah. You have a wire. Hey. Then when we are small, if you swallow Odala seed, your mother will tell you that it's going to grow inside your stomach. They are going to be pregnant for that. <laughs> I don't know if you have ever heard of that or if your mother have ever told you that. My mother always says, if you swallow anything, she just go down. They will tell you that it's going to grow inside your stomach. That time, every day I will touch my stomach to see if the dollar is growing. If I notice any change in my body, I'll say, hey, that dollar is growing inside me. Oh, I want to go to hospital. I'll be disturbing my mother to go and buy drugs for me. That dollar is growing inside me. Normally, I'm joking. Guys, as I'm eating this Odara, there is something I want to share with you guys. I don't know if you guys know Junior Pope. Junior Pope Odoku. He's a Nollywood actor. He, he's married and um, he has two... Is it two or three? I think they are up to three kids. So. Look, there is this post that he made on his Instagram page. That I saw. That was like... Hmm, this life shot. It's like, I talk about they say that this life no balance. For me, the life balance, so I don't like using negative words. But something that is happening in this life, we need to be careful. So this guy made a post. And um, he made a post. And he was saying that um, their house help. They have to have killed their dog, like poisoned their dog. 
I feel like he was saying that he was saying that um the house step killed their dog with food poison because of what because the house step was having a problem with the madam so due to anger she was trying to revenge so when everybody went out like the madam the the madam the ogre and the children the children went to school the, the do not pope dropped the children to school the madam went to her shop do not pope went to her um, location for shooting So the girl, she was looking for what to do to pay back, like to revenge, something that she would do that would pay them, that would pay them very, very well. Do you know what she did? She went and, and bought, um, whether I'm a rat poison, I don't know, all this, I don't know how they are selling it. This thing, are they selling this inside the shop or are they selling this, um, uh, why are they even buying this poison? Honestly, sometimes I use, I use one that I used to ask myself. You think they're saying buy the poison? Why are they buying it? I don't know. I don't know where she bought it, share. But according to the information, according to Junior Pope, he said that the girl went and bought the thing. I don't know how she got it. And then she now gave it to the dog. And this dog is a special dog. Like, not it's not all this Akalebo dog we are having in Nigeria. Special dog, all this foreign dog now that behaves like human being. White and uh, so loving. And the madam doesn't play with this dog. The madam doesn't play with the dog. So, so she was thinking this is what she would do to get back at the madam. And she gave um, that thing to the dog and the dog, Beme. The dog like that, the dog gone walk out, the, the dog just Beme. So, I don't know how they got to know that it was the house that killed, I don't know how they got to know anyway. Just, this is what he said. Now, this was that is confusing me. According to him, he said that they have sent the girl back to parents' house. Because if they leave this kind of girl to still be living with them, that one day this girl is going to even lose whatever she used on the dog, on their children, which is true. You never can tell, had it been that the children is around, I think that this event. I think that this event would have go um, to the children. Had it been that they didn't go to school, that they are around. I don't know. I just wonder what this girl would do to these children. For her to have that mind, to think that kind of evil. So, Junopo was now advising people to be careful. Know the kind of person you are living with. Be careful of your house help. So I'm telling you now, if you have house help, be careful. Any, any new woman, madam in Nigeria would dream of having house help. That one is sure. Unless the husband says no. Well, I know a lot of women we like to have house help. House help these days, some of them are very very wicked i remember a story my elder sister told me sorry about that so i'm back i remember a story um, my sister told me my elder sister there was this house girl that she was living with very very beautiful though she's 
all this smallish kind of house girl we all love this girl we all love this girl in fact my sister wanted to adopt the girl as a daughter she's too funny she's too funny and um, she smiles a lot so the thing made all of us to fall in love with her My mom doesn't play with the girl. Me, myself, I don't play with the girl. My elder sister doesn't play with the girl. That was even the reason she was planning to adopt her then. Not knowing that Namwa Bobanje. Not knowing that the girl is possessed. Very young girl, and very intelligent. Beautiful and intelligent. Always smiling, always like doing all these funny, funny, funny things. So, we just love the girl. We can do anything for her. So, one day, Now, guys, I'm getting where we're not going before that. I'm going to go. So, one day, you know, I'm not living with them. Then they were staying in Lagos, and um, I was staying in Enugu because I was working in a radio station. So, I only come for holidays, like to visit them. So, there was a time I went to visit them in Lagos then. I noticed that the girl is no more. I was like asking um, my sister, Haba, I've not seen happiness too. Yes, her name is also happiness. And she, the girl, she's also happy. She's a loving girl. She's always happy. And her name is happiness. So I, I asked myself, where is happiness? That I've not seen happiness too. If she go to market or maybe she went to school. She told me that happiness is no more with them. I was like, ah? But you told me that you are going to adopt this girl. What happened? What changed? Because kids were long way, were long way, come on, can you see? Can you go on and go on more? Can you name it? So she told me that. That the husband sent her packing it was like your husband sent her packing why you know i was too anxious or curious to know what happened so she she said that she's going to tell me that she was about going out so when she she returned i still went to and ask her what about happening what do you say that happened why what happened just tell me so she said that um, she said that the girl is possessed. That the girl almost killed her. Not not her, not my sister. Because that the girl, the girl almost killed herself. Because not my sister. I can't talk me. But you guys understand what I'm saying now. So. Yeah. So. Uh, the girl confessed that um, she belongs somewhere. So I started asking her how did she confess, what happened, what led to her confession and that. Because sorry, no, never knew. Um, could be um, the woman of my mother. So. She said that, you know, my sister, she's all these fire, fire people. She's a very strong Christian. She's a born again Christian. And she belongs to all these FAC. If you, if you are an Anglican person, you know what FAC means. FAC is just like a charismatic in, um, in Catholic. So she's all these fire, fire in FAC. So she said that there was, they went to, that all this way she had been suspecting that something is wrong with this day because anytime they are praying, 
the girl always behaves somehow and she has been seeing a lot of signs that there is something wrong with this and that this girl is not normal but she wants a lot of evidence she, she was thinking that she can deliver this girl by herself so so the day they went to church to fellowship not church to the effort fellowship it happened that it, that day was a deliverance ministry deliverance day deliverance church or deliverance service yeah deliverance service so as the pastor was ministering now prayer prayer session was going on the girl started manifesting they started manifesting and um, the girl was now saying that that she belongs somewhere The girl was not saying that she's possessed, that she belongs somewhere. That, in fact, that she has done a lot of things. Anyway, let me stop this with that. Let me just go straight to tell you, to finish up the story because I think I've stayed long in this story. <laughs> hey, I think I've stayed long in this story. I mean, can buy a break with that and finish up. So, according to her, she said that uh, the girl was um, confessing that um that she belongs somewhere and that she was sent for a mission that she was sent for a purpose in that family to destroy herself and not my family and not my sister's family or her, my sister so and they were not asking okay what have you done to her what have you done to my sister since you are sent for a mission this and that she said that um she was sent to attack my sister pregnancy because my sister she was pregnant then if she if she's able to do whatever they ask her to do that they are going to give her another rank so she was desperate too desperate to to do whatever they asked her to do so that she will become the SMY of that kingdom this i'm telling you guys is a real story not not fake it happened to some it happens to my sister so she said that there was a time that um they asked okay why didn't you achieve what you are sent to do all this while you are staying you are staying with them why haven't you achieved the what's happening and that she said that anytime she tried to do something like anytime she tried to attack my sister that there is this man that is always behind my sister wearing white that the last time that the man almost killed her killed her being the um the happiness that the man all, almost killed her that there was a time that excuse me now because i'm not allowed to go down down let me just take one more happen is this let me just fast forward it. the last one that happened is this that my sister was coming down from the staircase and um she was coming behind my sister that the girl she was coming behind my sister and she wanted to push my sister so that my sister can now fall on the staircase and and the, the staircase is like she has done something already either she has poured water on it or she put banana or something like that that will sleep my sister when she she pushed my sister i don't know if you understand it so um immediately she she wanted to do that then and that man again came that man appeared and uh, stopped her like the man stopped her and did not stand behind my sister and that uh, was now leading my sister to go down the staircase that if it, she said that the man almost killed her that day so then i asked her who is this man is he the husband she said no that the man is not the husband that the man is not even living with them but she don't know where this man is always coming from she, that the man is always coming like the man is always there whenever she tries to do something. You guys already know who the man is. The man is an angel, my sister. And you know, so she said that the man is always there protecting my sister. And that is why she was not able to carry out her assignment. And that the people that are disturbing her now, that she must do it. So she is trying by all means to do whatever they act her by fire, by force. I forgot it. I've forgotten how she told me the story anyway, but I think it's something like this, similar to what I've just said. 
So what am I trying to say in essence is this? Be careful of your house. If you can do it by yourself, do it by yourself. Stop being lazy. Do it by yourself. Do the walking by yourself. Clean the house by yourself. Cook the food by yourself. Like I told you guys that had it been that I'm in Nigeria that I said I will have a house set, but my house set will not be cooking for my husband. No. Omanga Kishimunsu, her work will just be to take care of the kids and to clean the house. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being there for us. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video. For now, bye-bye.